In this tutorial, we are going to create a custom height map for our terrain inside CryEngine. So to get things started, we are going to export the terrain from CryEngine and then open it up in Photoshop. And then we're going to create a brand new one from scratch and import it into CryEngine so we can have a custom height map and custom terrain. So first, uh, we have our task map opened. I'm going to open up the terrain editor and under file we can export our height map. So let's go ahead and do that now. And here we have file save as type. We can save as multiple of these file types. We have 8-bit BMP, we have a PGM, and we have a raw file. So I'm going to save it as raw because Photoshop can open up raw files. And I'm going to save it as test height map and click save. And it's going to place that file inside game levels and we want to place it inside test map folder and save. Now let's open up Photoshop. So let's go up and open this. Go to File, Open. It's going to be inside Game, Levels, and the folder that you saved it under. And we have Test Height Map. So let's go ahead and open this. Here we have Photoshop Raw Options. This is just for the raw file. So the dimensions have to match the terrain resolution. Back in CryEngine, if we go on the terrain, Resize Terrain, we have a height map resolution at 512. We have width and height at 512 by 512 and it matches our terrain resolution. Channels count, we want to set this to 1. Depth at 16 bits because the raw images are 16 bit and byte order is IBM PC. So let's go ahead and click OK. So here is the height map of our terrain. This is the information that CryEngine uses to generate the terrain that you see in game. The blacks are the lowest points and the whites are the highest points, the peaks, and the grayscale is everything in between. Here we can modify the already created height map and add a few things. We can reduce the intensity or we can create a completely new height map. So you have an option of tweaking this height map and then saving it and then importing it back into CryEngine or you have an option of creating a brand new height map. So let's create a brand new height map and use that. So let's close this. And let's go to up to file, new. And we want to create our width and height to the same resolution of our terrain. So if your terrain is going to be at 1024 by 1024, that is the height that you want to have for width and height for your new file, for your new height map that you're going to create. In our case, our terrain that's already created is at 512. So we're going to keep that at 512 by 512. And I want to set this to 16-bit. And we're going to set it to grayscale. And click OK. To generate our height map, we're going to use a filter inside Photoshop called Clouds and Difference Clouds. So make sure first you set your foreground color and your background color to black and white. And let's go up to Filter, Render, and Clouds. This will generate random clouds which will be used as a height map. Once you use a filter, you can press Control F and repeat that filter and get a different setting for your clouds, a different way that they will look. Another way is if you go down to Render Difference Clouds. This will generate a different variation with a lot more variety in the blacks and the whites. So this will be a good, interesting height map to be used as terrain. Now let's go ahead and save this and see what this looks like inside CryEngine. Let's go up to File save as and we want to save this file as raw Photoshop raw and you can see that our test height map will show up here what we're going to do is we're going to replace this we're going to delete this file and replace with the same name so I'm going to click on this click save it's going to ask if I want to overwrite it yes and I'm going to set it to IBM and leave the header at zero click OK and when this menu pops up click OK again so let's go to CryEngine, let's go to our terrain, edit terrain, and under file we're going to import our height map. And we're going to select test height map. So here we have the height map used, and let's close this. And we successfully imported our height map. This will generate a very interesting random terrain that can be used uh, with a little bit of modification, with a little bit of painting. Uh, you can get this terrain to look a lot more interesting than using the edit terrain generate terrain option 
So let's go back to Photoshop and we can control how intense this height map will be. So first we can go ahead and press Ctrl L or go under Images, Adjustments and select Levels. Here we can play around with the slider by getting the whites more white and the blacks more black. Or we can use the output level and reduce the intensity of the height map to something like this. So let's go ahead and save this and see what this looks like. And I'm going to resave over the test height map. Click OK and let's set to IBM. OK. Back in CryEngine, let's bring up our terrain editor and let's import our height map. And we can see it's a little bit less intense. And fly around, take a look at what this will look like. And it's a little bit more manageable, more realistic. So let's do this one more time. Uh, we can also paint some of the blacks and the whites in here. So if we want to have a little variation or maybe some pathway that we want to create, we can simply select the black or any of the gray up to white. Let's create a new layer so we can paint some of the paths. And let's select the brush tool, which will you see on the left hand side here, brush. And we'll reduce the intensity, make sure that I have the black selected, and just kind of paint in, in the water maybe get in the brush a little bit bigger and something like this. You can also reduce the opacity of the brush and just kind of play around and see what this will look like. And then if I want to bring up the intensity of the height map we can bring this up a little bit and let's paint in a little bit more something right here and let's clear this area out and just see what this will look like. And let's go ahead and save it. Okay and okay. And let's import and let's take a look and this gives us a custom height map that we can use for our terrain and we have full control of how this height map will look by using and creating our custom one so once you have your custom terrain imported you can go through any of these functions and modify and get the terrain more player friendly by going and maybe making an aisle getting a little bit different variation here uh, maybe we want to smooth get rid of some of the harder edges just get in somewhere over here and just checking it out how this will look this is a lot more advanced way to create terrain and get a little bit more realism of how your terrain will look more so than you can do manually or you can do by going up to generate terrain so the three options of importing your custom terrain height map and then going through some of the modify options and then manually painting in the rest of the terrain will give you enough of variety to create some unique and advanced terrains.